Super Walter White Division. This battle is scheduled for 10 three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five foot eight and a half inches tall, weighing in at 69.9 kilos. His record 16 wins and four losses. Fighting out of Azerbaijan, El Bobbio Ramal Emanov. And his opponent fighting out off the red corner, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 69.8 kilos. His record, 23 wins and five losses with six knockouts. Fighting out of Argentina, Diego El Cacharero Ramirez. And with the action begins, your referee, Shaz Janelle. And here we go, first round. Uh Seven rounds, three minutes round. And our last uh, fight of the evening. The mouth is going to set up the main. Nice hook that did not find it in a target. Uh, Argentinian uh, Diego Ramirez, a beautiful uh, uh, hook. Ramal is starting the, uh, the combination with the hook. It's really hard to start with the hook. You should always start with a jab just to set them up the pace, at least in the first round. Ramal uh, does not look in the best shape. I, I don't know. The mouth is already open from the first round. Diego Ramirez with nice uh, shots. Single shot, no combo so far. Now, as I said, that a nice combination by uh, Ramal Amarov. A hook to the body, a hook to the body, then hook to the head. And again, okay, he has it on the ropes. Nice on them, but is, is, is he gonna gas out? Having all those shots in the first round, in a 10 round bout. Black trunk is moving forward. They're both in a southpaw stance. Beautiful hooks, beautiful hooks. Dorothy uh, is warning them to not hold the head. This uh, couple of shots gave the Ramirez a nice confidence, a nice boost of confidence going in with a missed hook and then a connected hook. Real last night on. Was absolutely the best fight. No, the 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 I was talking about the last fight no, before this fight. Yeah. Point of it was awesome. Highly technical. I love it. Hey, you got a fan here. His name is the Bowen, by the way. How are you loving the fights? Beautiful so far, and I'm I'm, I'm digging the the guy with the blue shorts. He's been doing crazy jazz. He's there landing so clean. Also, it's black and really really good. Talking about the uh, talking about the fight here. Like, uh, are you loving the venue? Like, how's it going on? Beautiful combinations by uh, uh, Amanov. Amanov uh, uh, actually Diego Ramirez was the one that was hitting uh, Amanov. Amanov was on the receiving end, as we see it right now. Here we go, round two. Diego Ramirez in the blue trunks with uh, Ramal Amanov from Azerbaijan in the black trunks and pink gloves. Nice body shots, nice combination by um, Diego. Di Diego always uh, have a set of combinations, never a single shot. A couple of shots from Amanov and uh, warning from referee to Ramal uh, Amanov, he's telling don't push him from the back of the head. Nice hook goes to the body. Again. Nice uppercut by Amanov. Uh, nice return and exchange from um, Diego Ramirez. Those both fighters are so close to each other in the way of fighting. Uh, Steve, it, it makes a, a good ending for a beautiful night. So far, so good. You know, I hope so. Shout out to uh, DJ MC Vance of the Pearl. The, uh, you know, all the fans who showed up tonight. This is a great time. It's a Sunday, but hey. 
Great fight for the people. Sunday's a fun day. <laughs> there you go. Amanov has uh, Ramirez on the ropes. Ramirez uh, knows, knows how to fight uh, with his back to the ropes. Amanov is pushing the pace, trying to get him with a nice uppercut. With his fifth land, partially, and again body shot, again body shot. Nice exchange by the two fighters. Ramirez is hitting them with hooks. Argentinian fighter, Ramal Amanov. Amanov is pushing the pace, controlling the center of the ring. Like I said, both of them are um, south falls, so they cancel each other. It's harder to defend a uh, southpaw if you're uh, an orthodox uh, fighter. It makes things a little bit slower for you and you cannot see as much. But the minute both the fighters are on the same stand, they cancel each other, so it's not a shoot. But we're looking uh, in a mirror. Nice hook by Amano. Amano has beautiful left hooks to the head and to the body. I forgot that did not find a target by uh, Ramirez. says it's okay, no harm, no foul. You can see that both fighters are fading in, the, in this round. And that's a oh, beautiful combination by Ramirez. Uh, Ramirez does have six uh, wins by uh, knockout out of his 23 wins. A great percentage, which is five knockouts for Ramal Amanov out of the 16 wins. by Ramirez, and he's going to the body with Africa, then uh, follow up with hooks. One of the most beautiful combinations to come up with the uh, uh, hook, uh, sorry, Africa, then a hook, and now uh, double hooks, double uh, two uh, left hooks. Now here is what I'm going to doing, uh, Africa, then a hook. Beautiful defense uh, by Ramirez, Ramirez has the height advantage. He is standing at six feet tall versus five. Eight and a half for Amanov, so that's about two and a half uh, inches in height, which uh, translates into a reach for uh, the Argentinian advantage. Beautiful hits by uh, Ramirez, who is to be going stronger as uh, the rounds uh, progress. Ramal Amanov, who might surprise us because he looked tired from the first round. Yet he carries on uh, hitting and uh, bobbing and weaving. He took a couple of hits right now, and he seems to be fighting for the first time on the rope. The ropes usually has been in the Argentinian's uh, backyard so far. And again, there's a push by Aminov, and you can tell these pushes to the back of the head is when you get tired. And that's when mistakes happen. As the fighter or the boxer gets tired and starts dumping his hand, they start not being uh, able to react as fast as uh, the fresh fighter. Push to the back of the head by the Argentinian. Eight seconds. And it's time. Oh, 
warning uh, from uh, the referee uh, to watch the back of the head. There seems to be uh, an issue in uh, this round. Tommy Hope is getting his second win. Diego Ramirez, who has uh, the more experience uh, between the two, 23 wins, five uh, losses, and one draw, with six knockouts. Diego is using his reach to his advantage, hitting the body, and again, pushing. Ramal uh, Amanov again uh, on the ropes, like what we saw in uh, the end of round uh, three. Even though uh, Amanov has been living off pushing um, Diego Martinez to the ropes. And a way for Amanov to get a breather. Oh, a hit and a miss by Amanov. Again, going with the hook, uppercut with the same hand. Nice combinations by Diego uh, Ramirez. Nice combinations. Uh, Diego is using the reach his advantage. His hits seem to be more effective than uh, Ramal Amanov. Ramal Amanov, Amanov uh, who is dubbed as the Black Panther, looks nothing like the Black Panther. And right now, uh, the fight was more competitive at the beginning, and now Diego is moving forward, and he's the one that's going to the pace and the distance and the aggression in this uh, round. from uh, Diego about the uh, clash of heads. Nice combination, like I said, that combination of uh, uppercut hook is beautifully done uh, by Diego Martinez. Diego Ramirez on the ropes and again uh, hooking Diego's head, which is a veteran's an old veteran's uh, trick to slow down the fight. Try to lean on the opponent, trying to get gain um, advantage. Jab to the body by Ramirez and another cross from long distance by Ramirez. Again from Amanov to the uppercut and the hook. A couple of hard hits by uh, Diego Ramirez, um, who's trying to fight off the ropes. When he's back up to the ropes, you know, the good thing about being on the ropes is almost like having someone uh, push you forward if you kind of bounce off the ropes. And that's what happens right now. A nice uppercut. He's not taking advantage of it. And like I said, probably the nicest thing about the, about the, this fight is the combination that the Ramirez is like, Doing uppercut, then hook. Again, the push by the veteran fighter Aramal Amanov. Diego is making him take some leather. As Ramal uh, Amanov uh, backing up, Diego Ramirez keeps up scoring points again with his. Um, Signature move of uh, uppercut hook. Bouncing uh, on the on his toes. That is Diego. And every single time Ramal feels tired, he leans on the back of uh, Diego. And uh, the referee is right there telling him to break. It's 
Much faster, much better. Going around. Beautiful. Uh, like I said, the uh, X factor in this uh, round and in this fight is the uppercut hook that Diego Ramirez keeps on uh, going. And you see Diego moving to his left. Ramal trying to cut to the corner to make it more of an economy of movement for him. So you can tell he's tired. So here comes the uppercut hook by Ramirez. And the announcement of the end of the round. Trying to chase uh, Diego Martinez. Diego Martinez with a nice slip. He slipped his hook and uh, retaliated with a nice uh, hook of his own. Jab cross, but uh, nice defense by Amanov. Amanov is moving, but he's getting uh, hit uh, every time he moves. He's moving forward without techniques and Usually, for boxers, this is one of the worst things you can do. You move forward without any techniques. You stand, I mean, the, the fact that, again, one more time, Amanov is holding on with a, uh, his veteran move of hooking the head, trying to gain uh, more time for him to relax. And as he hears the clapper, we come to the end of the round. There we go. Ramal Amanov in the black uh, shorts and uh, the pink gloves uh, and Diego Ramirez from Argentina with the black, sorry, with the blue uh, trunks and white gloves. You, you can, like I said at the beginning from round one, you feel that Ramal uh, Amanov might not be in the best shape of his life. But he's moving forward, and the, you know the power favors him. I mean, uh, my money on him on the, the knockout power. And I think that's what he's what he's waiting for. That's what he's looking for. The uh, knockout power. Now he has uh, Diego Martinez in the corner. He's making him uh, taste the leather. But Diego returns in his uh, signature move of uppercut uh, hook. Oh, one more time. I mean, at this point, like about six, seven times, we see 
Amanov trying to lean on the back of Diego Martinez. Nice jabs by Diego. Diego wants to do the uppercut every time he gets close to the US the uppercut uh, hook combination. Maybe now he, he's chopping it into half with just an uppercut. Again, there you go, the uppercut uh, hook right into the body. Diego uh, with two jabs to Amanov's uh, face. Amanov is moving forward with triple jab with a nice hook and a return by uppercut by Diego Martinez. Diego Martinez is moving forward. Beautiful combination again, uh, and then Diego Martinez, uppercut hook, another hook, and the, the movement of the Argentinian fighter is beautiful, and now he switches, instead of uppercut uh, hook, he went to hook, uppercut, shot to the body, body shot from uh, uh, Ramal Amano, Amano's movement is slowing down, he's uh, resorting to uh, one uh, technique at a time, no combos, while Diego Martinez keeps on moving forward, moving left and right, very light on his feet, very light on his toes. And again, well, with that, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 time, Ramal is hitting the back. Well, not hitting, he's pushing uh, the back of uh, Diego Martinez. There we go, eighth round. Four to five rounds for the Argentinian fighter versus two, maybe three rounds for Ramal Amanov. Uh, Amanov is sensing that he's behind in the uh, round. He's trying to go back to fighting uh, with uh, pushing uh, Diego Martinez to the ropes. Diego Martinez is still in the top of the he's very good to get away, look at the big part of the game, you see Diego Martinez looks much younger than Amanov, maybe they're the same age, but Amanov looks much older. Maybe it's the way I'm feeling, even though Diego Martinez does have more fights, 29 fights, it's the it's really a, uh, bout in the ring. Ramal Amanov. First entrance to the ring in his pro career. Beautiful combination. Beautiful combination by Diego Martinez. Not like I said, Diego is up in the uh, round. Two rounds at least. by the Argentinian. For tonight, the Argentinian will not play card. One more time, that was a hit to the back. And this is not the first time. I mean, maybe this will upset Diego Martinez, and Diego Martinez maybe will come back with vengeance, as we see. But like I was saying, the Argentinians will not cry for Argentina tonight. So Martinez uh, moving uh, very, very light on his feet, fighting his throat, always starting with the jab, and every now and then it does his signature move of uppercut uh, hook. And here, yeah, look how fast Diego is moving left and right, um, despite the multiple uh, attempts by Omal uh, Amanov to cut the corner, and again, trying to hook him. That is uh, the Black Panther. 10 seconds.
The last fight of tonight from La Pearl in Hafu City, Dubai, UAE. Uh, the countdown to the Middle East crown brought to you by DJMC Events. Here we go. Ramal Amanov, uh, dubbed as the Black Panther, needs to pounce on uh, Diego Ramirez to try to finish the fight to his uh, favor. Oh, a nice hit by Amanov. And another nice hit by Amanov. Diego Ramirez, Tom, come on, come over, hit, hit, hit. And he's going to probably give him that uh, old uppercut hook that uh, he's been uh, practicing on uh, the punching bag and Ramal Amanov for the past nine uh, rounds. Again, uh, Ramal is pushing um, Diego to the ropes, wanting him to fight on the ropes. Beautiful night so far, uh, Ramal Amanov in the black shorts and again the grabs and the push of the back of the head to the objection of Diogo Ramirez. Diogo Ramirez is still light on his feet. We uh, just finished the ah oh, nice hook by Ramirez. Again the push by Ramal and then objection by Ramal. This is what I understand. Ramal is the one that's pushing, and then he's up, uh, objecting. Nice clinch. One more time, Diego is uh, complaining to the ref. The ref is on top of it. Fighter safety is first. A beautiful uh, jab cross by the Argentinian. And he's still moving to his left and shooting with his uh, uppercut uh, hook. Moving around. Every time he moves to the left, uh, Ramal Amanov is getting better and better at cutting in the corner, impeding his uh, progress to the left, so he switches to the right. Ramal had the same look from uh, round one. He looked tired in round one, and he still looks tired in round ten, but it's the same look, so maybe it's the look that he has. Beautiful combination by the Argentinian. The six foot uh, tall, uh, uh, and again, I said it in the eighth round or seventh round. That's a, a dirty move by the uh, by Ramal. Some people call it a veteran uh, move. And I think Diego took uh, offense to what uh, Ramal just did. And he's trying to knock him out till next Tuesday. 10 seconds, last 10 seconds of the fight, last 10 seconds of the night, last 10 seconds of the round and the fight and the night. Beautiful barrage of combination 
of Diego Ramirez, and it is all over. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds, all the judges quarter contest, a unanimous decision victory from the red corner, Diego El Cachan Ramirez.